Hey, this is Dallas Stone here, and I'm going to be doing today a how to uh, get an Unreal character scale uh, from Unreal. And uh, this is really important because, you know, when you're creating things, you want to make sure that's in scale, especially if you're going to be building some things for a specific engine. And for this specific one, is going to be Unreal. So I'm going to go through the quick steps here um, on how I received or how you can get your own <coughs> uh, Unity scale. So uh, I'm just going to launch up the engine. I also use Maya, so I like to kind of throw it into Maya, make sure that everything's hooked up properly in there. Um, so I go to new project, make sure you have third person selected. Uh, make sure that with starter content, uh, maximum quality, and desktop con uh, console, that's what, that's what you want. I'm just going to call this uh, character test, or character scale, sorry. And uh, project folder, sure, that's, that sounds right. I'll, <clears throat> I can always uh, delete whatever I need later. Um, as you guys can see, I've already done one already. Uh, but <clears throat> So I'm just going to select this asset here, right, the, the character. And I'm just going to go to file, and I'm going to export. Or is export selected. Um, so I'm going to export this, I'm going to go to desktop, and I'm just going to um, call this character scale. And I'm going to load up Maya. Okay, I'm just going to delete this. <clears throat> so, this is a, so this is our new scene, let's go new scene. Make sure everything's fresh. And then I'm going to import desktop, I'm going to find my character scale. So I'm going to import in my character scale here. And this is uh, from Unreal. And you're going to notice that it's like it's way off in the distance. It's not in the 0 to 0. So <clears throat> I'm just going to press uh, F key to focus on what's on the scene. And it's it, this is pretty much way off. So uh, I'm just going to delete the camera. I'm going to put this guy in the 0 to 0. Uh, no, I can't do that. Sorry. Uh, if you go here, you're going to notice this is this um, all the translate, rotation, and scales all locked so you need to select this so left click drag all the way down right click and just unlock selected and now you see that everything's uh, clear and I'm just gonna go zero 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 and it's gonna leave so now it's in the zero to zero space I'm gonna go to my outliner and I'm going to open this group up and I'm going to delete the root because uh, in this instance I'm, I don't need uh, the the rig and I'm just gonna take this asset and I'm just gonna middle mouse click and just drag it out of the groups and I'm just going to delete the group and from here I'm going to have the asset or select it, the asset or I'm going to freeze the transformations first make sure this is nice and clean delete the history I'm going to export the selected I'm going to go back um, and uh, what I'm going to do here is I can go to my, my documents go to unreal projects go to character scale that's why my projects uh, was named. Go to content, and you can pretty much put this anywhere. I'm going to put this in the uh, in the uh, geometry and meshes. Go back to the Unreal project, and uh, it's going to just notice that something has been added. So I'm going to go import. I'm just going to leave everything the way that it is, and I'm just going to import it. And then once that's done, um, you can go to your content. And I put it into geometry, meshes, and I'll notice my character scales here. I'm just going to drag it into the level, and there you have it. Now you have your own Unreal uh, Unreal scale, and now you can create your doors, your seats, your chairs, all that stuff, and make sure that it's properly scaled to the character. Thank you guys so much. Hopefully that's helpful to you guys, and um, see you guys again next time.